So I'm Jim Jordan. I'm the wildlife biologist for the town of Keewa Island. You know, the way that bobcats accumulate these rat poisons is by doing what they normally do, eating rats and mice. The problem is that obviously these rat poisons in the environment, the rat goes into a bait box and he eats it. Typically it'll cause, cause them to die within three to seven days. During that time, they're a lot easier for a bobcat to catch, right? So they get a little bit sick, they're a little bit slower. And so if you're a bobcat walking around and all of a sudden there's a slow rat that's easy to catch, you're gonna eat it. And then if you come back to the same spot and see another one, you're going to eat that one too. And so over time, you know, while, you know, eating a handful of rats that, that might have died from or be dying from this rat poison isn't going to hurt a bobcat. If they do it over time, it builds up in their liver, takes an incredibly long time to break down and ultimately can cause them to die. They sit at the top of the food chain, one of our largest predators out here. And because of that, they help to control populations of deer and rodents and, and other prey species on the island. As a biologist, we've tracked deer numbers since I started in the mid-90s. And while other communities along the South Carolina coast have gotten rid of most of their predators and their deer numbers have gone up, Kiowas have, have been very stable over the last 10 to 15 years. And that's directly tied to bobcats eating deer fawns and controlling deer numbers. And so one of the first signs that we saw that bobcat numbers were, were suffering or going down was that we started to see more fawns surviving on the island and we started to see our deer numbers increase. And in the last two years, our deer population has doubled here at Kiowa. Our message for, for many years has been bobcats need, need good cover and they need, they need food, they need a place to hunt. So we've always encouraged you know, property owners to plant more native plants. Dense understory is really important. Buffers between homes because you know, bobcats will take advantage of that. In light of what we've determined you know, here in the last year with the threat from these anticoagulants, that we need to get those out of our environment as quickly as possible. And so we're working to, to do that in a number of ways. Our biggest focus right now is a voluntary program we call our Bobcat Guardian program and effectively we're asking homeowners, pest control companies, rental agencies to voluntarily stop using anticoagulant rodenticides. There are other alternatives out there. It's easy to make the switch. We're asking folks to only use a rodenticide of any sort or a pesticide of any sort when it's absolutely necessary. 